Good morning, you guys. It is Friday. Thank God for Friday. Um, I don't know what's on the agenda today, but I'll go ahead and record the rest of the day. My look for today, I did the Flawless 2 by Makeup Revolution palette. It's, um, pink eye. If you guys want to know how I did this look, comment down below. Is, uh, I really like the eyeshadows. It's working out pretty good. Palette of the day is the Makeup Revolution Flawless 2. This is what the packaging looks like, and this is actually what the palette is. Let's go ahead and open it up. It comes with the mirror, and these are the look, the colors. And it does come with this plastic insert with the names of the colors. And I'll show you what I did use today. See a little bit more light on there. Okay, there we go. I used that on my eyelid. I used this as my transitional color. And that on my brow bone. And I lined with these two colors and I did darken my crease on my corner lid with this and then my lipstick for Tay is the Budapest by NYX to kind of uh, add a pop of that kind of pinkish tone trying out this new liner that is from Rimmel from the Scandal Eyes collection. It says it's waterproof, so I'm gonna test it out in the gym. <sighs> Alright you guys, the eyeliner's still on, on both eyes. And that is from riding the bike for 20 minutes. Alright you guys, and this mascara is Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And it doesn't look like it's smearing. It is water resistant, which is great. I'm in the steam room and the mascara is not running anywhere. And the eyeliner is still intact. Alright you guys, so this is what the eyeliner looks like. The Scandal Eyes by Rimmel and it's supposedly waterproof. I'll go ahead and test it on my hand. It's super black and it's supposed to dry really matte from what I've read. And then I had this mascara on, which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and it's water resistant I would say that it is gym friendly didn't smear everywhere it actually didn't budge I really do like this product I would purchase this again I didn't like the little ball at the end, it was kind of weird to me, but as I got used to it, um, it wasn't too bad. It's plastic, it's not an actual brush, but it did create a pretty nice line on my eye. I didn't have a problem making that wing. And that is it for my review on the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner. Thumbs up. I would totally buy this again. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. I shall see you guys later. Bye!